Hey everybody, it's Christine. Um, so it has been so long since I've talked to you that, I, so I'm out running errands today and I just kind of spontaneously decided that I was just gonna stop the car and say hello, make a little video for you, just a little update since it's been so long and uh, really just tell you a few things that's happening, say hello, ask how you're doing, I hope you're doing well. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into the updates that I want to talk about. Um, I mean, they're not really updates. They are, well, I guess they're updates. Oh, they're what's happening <laughs> updates. Um, so this year, right guys, 2020 trash bin over. Uh, it almost is over, right? We're going into September. So how many cruises have you had canceled? How many have I had canceled? Um, three. Yeah. Three canceled. Actually four, because I just had another one canceled that was for November. So how many of you had canceled? It's just the year of cancellations, isn't it? So what I want to do is I want to talk about 2021 <laughs> uh, and I want to see what you're doing and I want to tell you what I'm doing um, and maybe what I'm doing you can do. Maybe we could cruise together. Who knows? Uh, so I am. I have three group cruises happening for next year. Two of which I will actually be on. One I won't. So if you're interested in any of these cruises that I'm going to tell you about, I'm not going to sit here and talk to you about like all the details, the pricing and everything. I will tell you they're great prices. But um, if you want information specific about it, just... DM me, PM me, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me, and um, we can discuss the details. But the cruises that I have groups on this coming year, this coming year, in 2021 are February 1st uh, out of Mobile, Alabama. Great prices. A five night cruise on. Carnival Sensation. And I like I said, I will be on that one. Then there is Princess. I am not remembering right now which ship it is, but it's a Princess Alaska cruise in May. There's September 11th, 2021 on the Mardi Gras, Carnival Mardi Gras. Uh, and that I will also be on. So if you have any interest in any of those three cruises, let me know. But that's what I have happening for me next year. Let's see, Doug will not be on the one in February. He will be on the one in, um, in September. Oh, I forgot. I also have one on MSC Seaside out of Port Canaveral on February 28th. Doug will be on that one. Yeah, I forgot. How could I forget about that? Uh, yeah, so we have, to recap, we have Mobile, Alabama, February 1st. Carnival Sensation, five nights. Great prices. We have MSC Seaside, Port Canaveral, February 28th. Also great prices. They're all great prices. I'll just stop saying that. Then we have, I believe it's May 21st. Uh, princess, can't recall the ship, to Alaska. And then we have September 11th, Carnival Mardi Gras. Now, what are we going to do between May and September? I really, I'm not a huge um, summer cruiser because it's so dang hot. But I can be convinced if anybody wants to throw together like even a small group five ten cabins just let me know I'll get us some great prices and I will join you even if it's in the summer <laughs> all right guys look I just want to say hi I just want to make sure you're doing okay it's just been so long since I've made a video other than you know my um editing my previous cruises which I'm still on the um regal princess I think I'm only on day four I might be started day five. I have to do the vlog for this week. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, today today's the last day of this week. And I said that I normally do them 
on uh, Monday or Thursday, and it's Saturday. So I will get on that today. Today. All right. I'm going to get on that today, and I will put that up. All right. Um, so drop a drop a comment down below and let me know what cruises are you doing in 2021? Are you excited? What's your confidence level? My confidence level is pretty good. I am very confident that the CDC and CLIA and all the cruise lines are going to work together and get this figured out. And you know, we already have MSC Grandiosa, Grandioso over there um, in Europe that's selling and they're doing a pretty good job. Did you hear about, did you hear, did you hear about the family? They got kicked off. Well, they got denied access back onto the ship. Go to Cruising with Christine on Facebook and I have, I probably have the article about it. And I, I also, what I wanted you to see is you will see the policies that um, MSC has put into place in order to be able to cruise. And it's a, I think it's a great policy. Now, having a test done at port before you before you um access the ship is a little i'm a little like i don't know how that's going to work in the long run but all the other policies that they put into place i think are great and one of the great things that i think is um <laughs> sorry i just got a text um one of the great things there are many that they put into place that i like is They've, they have built these relationships with um, the, the ports, the destinations that they're going to. They've built these relationships with the, the, the cities, the communities, and they have, they have built up a trust. And part of getting that trust was that they promised that they would do excursions that were guided by MSC and that everybody off the ship would, you know, stay together that MSC would know where they were at all times and then they would get back on the ship. That way they would be lessening any possibility of um, locals getting sick or, you know, uh, a, a passenger taking something back onto the, the ship. And the, the reason the people got denied access was because they took one of these excursions and they broke away from the group and they went off and did their own thing. And then when they tried to get back on the ship, they were told they couldn't get back on the ship because they broke the policy. It's pretty simple. Follow the rules. They're in place to keep everybody safe. I think they're pretty good rules and they're not overly strict. They make sense. So follow them. <laughs> and if you don't, you might, no, not might, won't get back on the ship. So, yeah. Anyway, what is your confidence level that you will be cruising? I got off on a little little sidetrack there. Um, but it is pertinent to the subject. What's your confidence level? My confidence level is pretty good, as I said. Um, how excited are you? I am excited, but I, I feel a little a little guarded, but I am excited. Um, yeah. So that's what I have going on. I hope you are well. I hope if you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel because this is what I do. I just talk to you about cruising and I take you on cruises and I just show you everything. I show you everything. I show you all the cabins that I stay in. Sometimes I take you on ship inspections sometimes I take you on shore excursions. Sometimes I stay on the ship and explore it. I do all kinds of different things and I take you with me and some people like it and some people don't. If you do subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you're well. I hope your family's well and I love you all and love your support. Talk to you later. Bye.